and the first card is the journey card. So you might be um, doing some travel um, that's on um, with regards to work. You could be even taking a holiday. There's some kind of uh, news that is coming in, though, that might not be what you wanted to hear. So something that's not working out quite right. Uh, there's some, uh, this is the card of bad news. So something coming in, but whatever this news is, it might spur you on to take a journey. Uh, you know, so there could be uh, some kind of loss that is coming on and you need to take, a, you need to travel because this news has come in. So something coming in that's going to cause you to have to do some kind of travel there with that journey card. Um, there's a patience card over here. So you've been waiting for something to happen. Uh, it says you just need to hang in there a little longer. Just have the patience. Uh, whatever you're dealing with, just be a bit strategic in how you're dealing with, um, with things going on around you. Think very carefully before you make uh, any moves. You've got the spiritual card over here and the diligence card over here. So you've been following uh, a lot of your own intuition. You've been following your own, own experiences when you're dealing with things. You've got a lot of insights that have been coming on. You might also be, you know, taking on a more spiritual course right uh, recently where you're doing a lot more praying or connecting with the divine, um, you know, a lot more than you have previously done. You certainly have been spending a lot of time with your work. You know, Capricorn loves work. Uh, I have to say, you do tend to focus a lot on it. And it seems like you're still doing that. Uh, working very late hours, you know, overworking uh, and, you know, putting your head down and get, trying to get things done. So it seems like, you know, you're, you're very, very focused on that work. And this journey that you might be taking might be related to work as well, because you've got the journey card next to the diligence card. You've got the troubleshooting card there. So this is about, uh, this is the future. So uh, you might need to go and get some psychic advice, because you can see she's got tarot cards there in her hands. Uh, there's something you're not seeing, because you can see one of her eyes are covered there. So uh, you might need to either go and get some kind of advice uh, or maybe even ask people around you or even trust in your own intuition. Uh, there's something that has not come to light and maybe whatever this person or um, you um, collaborate with or this person that's around you, um, or, you know, somebody that you actually um, have some kind of spiritual connection with, maybe they're going to give you some advice or they're going to uh, bring something to light that's going to allow you to see things very clearly. So there's something that you want to know. Um, you're waiting for something to come in there with that patience card. Uh, something is missing, something, some information, something that you need to know. And you may need to ask people around you um, what they think. Uh, and maybe somebody will bring, um, you know, highlight something that was missing, something that you didn't see. Like I said, that eye is one eye is covered. So you've only gotten half the facts. Uh, you need to get the other half of the information. Um, and you get that by either using your intuition or asking other people for some kind of advice. You've got this fame card coming in as well, uh, which is really good because it shows you're going to be in the spotlight. Uh, so you're going to get recognition for the things that you need, uh, that you've been doing really. Uh, so um, there's... You've been working really hard uh, to get a claim and it looks like that's going to be paying off big time. So, uh, uh, you know, a lot of people um, holding you in very, very high regard and that's coming in for you. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to be using the Cosmic Tarot for the main read. I have shuffled this deck. You've got the Ten of Cups here, and this is the um, the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. So uh, it looks like you've left a situation behind. There's been a lot of financial loss. Something has fallen to pieces there. There was a lot of stability initially. Here yeah, you've got the Four of Swords over here. You can see these people sitting. Uh, you might have come through a legal situation as well. With this Four of Swords, there's uh, Jupiter there in Libra. 
So uh, something, uh, a legal issue, or maybe you went through a divorce, or some kind of separation legally that freed you from the situation there with that Four of Swords. Uh, because uh, you've got Libra um, interacting with that Jupiter. Jupiter is about freedom, and um, uh, Libra is about justice. And so it seems like, you know, whatever this legal situation is, you've been cut out uh, released from that situation but whatever it was if it was a, a divorce or even leaving a job contract uh, it caused a lot of uh, financial problems you may have even moved home as well so you know you've got mercury sitting there with taurus so it's had a great impact on your finances and there's been a lot of loss uh, to do with finances and it came very very suddenly as well um, you've got that Ace of Cups, so this is about new beginnings for you. So, so you have been crying a lot as well uh, with this Ace of Cups, you know, being very, very upset. But it looks like something new is coming in. So although you've been crying a lot, uh, you know, you are starting to now st see things from a different angle. Maybe feeling a little over overwhelmed emotionally as well. So you've been very, very ups upset. And also this card seems to show that, you know, you've been feeling very lonely as well. You ended a lot of relationships with that Ten of Cups. Uh, you know, things happened. You've got um, Pisces over there. So Pisces is ruled by Pluto, and Pluto is about endings. So it seems like, you know, all these people that you were involved in, you've ended cycles with them. Uh, you know, they were you were very emotionally tied to these people, uh, but now that situation has come to an end. Um, and, uh, you know, you are feeling very, very lonely. Maybe you knew these people for a very, very long time, but that cycle is now ended. It's finished. And you're going to, you know, you're feeling, you can see this woman's naked. You're feeling very exposed, very vulnerable at this particular time of your life. So there seems to have been some kind of legal ending. It could have been a divorce, or you could even have left an old job that you worked in for a long time. And you've had to now uh, end, you've ended cycles with them. You've got that Prince of, um, Princess of Wands and the Prince of Cups. So uh, with the Princess of Wands, it's about you taking control of that situation and exploring new opportunities as well. Uh, it seems like you might be vying for a position of authority or, in, you know, you're looking for a new project to handle and manage. Um, or, you know, you're getting your power back. This is kind of about power. It's about being in the limelight, in the spotlight. A lot of people recognizing who you are uh, with that Princess of Wands. And the Prince of Cups, is showing an offer coming in for you now on the other hand you could be dealing with a fire sign person or and a water sign person so this could be aries leo sagittarius energy or it could be cancer scorpio or pisces energy that you're dealing with uh, if this is all your energy then you know you know you are trying to get yourself back on track you, you know people find you very attractive they find uh they uh you know you're very dynamic and maybe this is what's going to allow you to get an offer so this prince of cups making an offer to you uh so something in the form of study or further work um you know if this is uh, an emotional situation it seems like um you know you could be um getting some kind of invitation social invitation from somebody with this prince of cups this this is certainly a new opportunity coming in that's going to give you a different emotional uh, take on the situation. Interestingly enough, there's a snake coiled around this wand and she's got a wand in her hand over here. If this is a new relationship, uh, you tread very carefully because you've got that snake, you, you know, if it's a new relationship because you've got a wand here um, and there's thorns on this wand, it might not be all it's cut out to be so be careful of that and with that snake coiled around it maybe this person is not above board uh with the snake card so they might be saying things or making promises that are not really true so you know if this new offer is coming in for you uh even if it's on the work front and if it's a new offer you know be very careful uh make sure that you are looking into it very very carefully before you accept any kind of offer um, there seems to be some kind of choice uh, as well that is coming in to allow you to get out of the situation. But uh, be very, very careful about uh, how you pursue this uh, case. Because at the end of the day, this scorpion still has a sting in its tail. So it might not well be what you wanted uh, at the end. So look at it from a long-term point of view and tread very, very carefully. You want um, everything to happen, uh, but if it's even... If it's on the work front or even in a relationship, be careful about any offer that you accept. Now, you've got the moon card over here and you've got Pisces with it. So you are ended, you have ended old, difficult emotional situations, but it has made you feel very, very 
Um, you can see that dual aspect going on over there. You're double-minded about things or in two minds about things, and you are feeling a bit emotionally overwhelmed as well. This uh, creature is, um, um, or oh, it's a prawn coming out of the water there. So you are trying to get yourself out of that uh, emotional turmoil that you've been going through. Um, you know, you're trying to find direction in, in life. Um, you know, they say these uh, uh crustaceans or these crab or, or, or crayfish kind of things have got senses on their body um, and they can actually uh, navigate by the light of the moon, find their direction. So even though you're going through a very difficult emotional uh, situation, allow that. You're allowing that to actually direct you or you're trying to find your way out of the situation. You're looking at everything from that past and, you know, you have learned, you have become, uh, you've grown emotionally and now this is how you're trying to uh, get yourself out of the situation. You're navigating yourself because of all the lessons that you've learned. So this is about getting over that situation and it's a positive, really positive way to be going. There's still that lack of clarity there. There's still that uh, upset going on, but you will emerge uh, from that difficult situation. And you've got the star card over there. So this is about emerging from difficulties. Getting rid of, rid of negativity. You can see that she's throwing the water out from these cups. Uh, and she's getting herself more stable. So she's it's almost like she's stepping out of the water back onto land again. You're getting that. You're finding your feet again, in other words. And you are being divided. Um, sorry, uh, you are being guided, rather. You can see there's... Um, the stars over there in the background, uh, divinely guided towards where you need to go to. Uh, but it is very important for you to get over uh, all those negative emotions or all that upset and depression um, and see the bigger picture, you know, get your stability back. So in both these cards, you, know, you can see he's coming out of the water onto the land and she's stepping out of the water onto the land. Um, you are healing. So this is a period where you are going through healing right now after going through this Ten of Cups, the ending of a difficult emotional situation. You've got the Magician card over here, so you're focusing right back on yourself again. You're trying to manifest your future. You have a lot of skills and talents, um, and you know you are thinking a lot about communication, maybe travel, because you've got uh, you know it's ruled by Mercury over there. So you are. Uh, trying to make this fresh start and you know this is playing on your mind you want you've got a lot of plans in your head uh, you've got the death card coming to the future so you, this is about leaving the past behind and moving forward making a brand new start cutting things out and moving forward and you're still dealing with a lot of conflicts you've got Saturn there with Leo so uh, people are still attacking you um, and attacking your um, self-confidence Leo is all about you your ego yourself and Saturn is a very restrictive plan planet so uh, you know people are still uh, presenting a lot of hurdles it's almost you can see there's a fence there or a, um, a wooden fence there so there's some kind of obstacle and maybe these people are um, you know uh, being very negative uh, and this is causing a lot of drama, a lot of problems, a lot of arguments as well, because they don't want you to move forward. And, uh, you know, you are going through a period where, you know, there's a lot of... With the Five of Wands, it's usually about uh, um, problems that are arising with these people. It's maybe aggressive kind of energy coming through. They're very restrictive. Uh, they say a lot of things and, you know, uh, start off fights unnecessarily. So you are having to, you can see, oh, this man is almost trying to defend himself against the other man. So, uh, and they are, you know, they're presenting obstacles to you, presenting problems uh, to you that is, you know, um, uh, stifling you and also preventing you from moving forward um, so you are still facing a lot of problems um, in your personal life it could even be on the work front as well lots of people bringing a lot of problems you've got the tough ones over here so you're reaching a point where you're going to have to make some kind of decision about where you want to focus your energies here you've got mars in aries this is about you where you want to put your energies on what project you want to attack or what project you want to take on next so you are being faced with a really big decision so maybe if this is on the work front there and these people are still giving you grief you're gonna to have to decide what you want to do and move forward if this is on your personal life then you have to make a decision about where you want to go from here you are at the crossroads in your life at the moment and so you're trying to make a decision about where you want to focus your energy you certainly have to leave the past behind because you've got that death card over here so things have ended you are trying to focus on yourself on your financial security and even in your own personal secu security and you're worried about that. This is um, 
uh, Virgo here sitting in a Leo. So Leo is about self. Virgo is about work. It's about spending a lot of time by yourself. But it's also a card that's bringing in the money for you. So, uh, you know, you are trying to get yourself reestablished again. So going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the Queen of Cups there, the High Priestess and the Two of Pentacles. Queen of Cups still feeling a bit depressed, still feeling a bit unhappy about what had happened, still looking to the past and still crying about it. You've got a lot of weeping willows over here and you can see that two on either side of her there. So there is some kind of emotional choice as well that you are being faced with, uh, you know, and spending a lot of time by yourself as well, maybe hiding behind this fan. So, uh, you know, you are thinking about things, you are taking in, you know, um, avoiding any kind of emotional uh, commitments at this time as well. She's spending time by herself. But also the Queen of Cups tends to be very, you know, somebody who cries a lot. So you are very upset about what happened. You've got the High Priestess card over here, and this is being ruled by the moon. And this is about getting that balance back again, trusting in whatever you believe in, maybe even doing some further study or further training as far as your work goes. Uh, but also there is that need for you to trust in whatever you have uh, acquired uh, on, on the knowledge front. Trust, have the confidence to know that you have come through a lot of lessons and they were are going to be important um, for you in the future when you're making decisions. The high priestess also says that, you know, don't go around telling people about what is going on in your life. Uh, you know, there is a need for you to keep uh, certain uh, aspects of your life private. Um, you can see there's a lot of water in the background over there. So there is, you know... Um, that issue about you being a bit emotional as well. Uh, and maybe that's why you do need to get that balance back with that High Priestess card. High Priestess is also about spending a lot of time by yourself. So maybe you have been doing that uh, emotionally, cutting yourself off from people. You've got the Four of Pentacles coming in for you. So a choice that you need to make as far as money goes. There's still a lot of toxic people around. You've got the snake curling around this. So maybe you want to move forward in a new direction and a new job. And maybe people not allowing you to do that because of what they're saying. There's certainly a lot of problems are, you know, wherever you're working at the moment. Uh, there are two cards of choice here. You've got the Two of Wands as well as this Two of Pentacles. So it's about money. It's about making a choice about moving. Uh, you know, the Wands cards is about projects and new jobs. And the Two of Pentacles is about money you know going for the best paid job as well your ships are coming in so one of these choices are going to be good make sure you do your research as well so being faced with that fork in the roads still having a little bit of issues with the past there but coming getting through it the queen of cups um you know even though she's emotional and cries a little bit you know you, she gets over things uh, so you are healing from the situation that you have gone through and the death card is calling for you to take Make a clean break from the past. So you've got endings there, big endings, uh, and, you know, starting off making a choice about uh, what you want to do in the future. Uh, so the ball is in your court, really. You need to decide how you want to proceed. So these are cards from the Wolf Pack. And the first card is the outcome. So even though you're experiencing many obstacles, you will survive any and all conditions. Many lessons learned, the result of your experience are presenting their rewards so like i said whatever you've learned make sure with that high priestess you know you tr you trust your own intuition you trust whatever you've learned as far as life lessons go um and you are you know even though you are facing a lot of obstacles you will come through it this card is saying that the outcome will be a positive outcome and then you've got the anger card so um a loved one has caused you to become a victim of anger upheaval or distress Try to solve the problem, think before you speak, and do not become a victim. The solution is prayer. So you have been dealing with somebody there, somebody around you that is causing a little bit of problems. There's fighting still going on over here. And if you look at the bottom of the pentacle, there is that snake there. So you want to move forward, you want to do something. Maybe this is somebody from the family that is causing a, a, somebody um doesn't want you to go, uh, you know, leave the situation. So there's a lot of arguments. There's a lot of disruptive energy still going on around you. Uh, and even here with that five of ones, you know, there's still a lot of drama that you're facing at the moment. You've got the trust card over here. So during this time, you may encounter new love. Keep an open mind and heart, uh, which will lead you to love or friendship. Learn to trust yourself and your intuition. So like I said, there is this um, King of Cups, um, no, sorry, the Prince of Cups coming in. So there's an offer coming in over there. Uh, you have to decide whether or not it is worth your while going for it. This person may not be what they're, uh, you know, all that they say that they are because you've got that snake around that um, rod there. 
So, you know, like I said, be careful. Um, you know, trust your intuition when you're going. And even this card about trust says you need to trust yourself, your intuition. So if this offer comes in as far as uh, love and relationships go, it's something that you do need to research. Find out about this person first before you make any kind of commitment. Uh, you know the Prince of Cups? He tends to tell tall tales uh, sometimes, over-exaggerates. So this person might be making promises to you that they can't keep. So be careful. <clears throat> You've got the Emperor card over here. So structure and organization are important right now. Don't be afraid to take on a leadership role as you have much wisdom to offer. So getting to a point where you are taking a role of authority uh, and you need to organize your finances and uh, organize, um, you need to be organized really. So research, organized, uh, clarity of thought is necessary. You've got the Princess of Winter over here. So an intellectual challenge that calls on your ability to think up a matching solution. If helpful information is put to you bluntly, accept the message without being uh, bothered by the messenger. There's some kind of news that is coming in. It could be something legal that comes in. Uh, but it allows you to dispel all the negativity in the past. So whatever you're doing, something that allows you to move forward to the, with this Princess of Winter. And like I said, it could be something legal as well. Because this is uh, um, the Page of Swords. So something coming in pretty quickly as well over there. Um, so be aware that that's going to be coming. And it might be something challenging. Because the Page of Swords generally brings in challenging information that you have to act on quickly. Um, and uh, make your decisions uh, based on logic, really. You've got the King of Spring over here. So now is your moment to stop. Uh, sorry, now is your moment to step up into a leadership role. Don't look back from the spotlight as your plans will be successful as long as you stay focused on the big picture. So it seems as though you are going to be... Um, it seems as though... You've got a decision to make as far as the work front goes. So you are facing some kind of new project or some kind of, uh, you know, new money, a new job coming in there. From these three cards with the Emperor card, this is on taking on a leadership role over there. And it's also about legality. So you could be getting legal news coming in with that Emperor. There might have been a court case that you, a uh, decision that you were waiting for, a legal decision. And that news comes in pretty quickly over here. And whatever this interaction is, it might be uh, involving a fire sign person. Uh, so it could be Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. But a decision is going to be made and you are going to hear the news about that, it seems. If this is not about legal issues that you're dealing with, this could be on the work front. Are you being offered a job or, uh, or a promotion over here and you're going to you're about to take on a leadership role there and you're getting news about signing new contracts or you'll get uh, you know you have news that comes in that you need to act pretty quickly on. Um, so whatever it is, whatever that news is that comes in, you're gonna have to make decisions pretty quickly. It could be legal issues that you're dealing with or it could be that you're getting a new job and you're going to be signing new contracts. Uh, you're certainly going to be faced with a new decision. Uh, but whatever this is, this could be a promotion and it could be a leadership role that you're going to be taking it on. Um, you know, this could be uh, an offer that comes in. You can see there's a little bird on the tree. So there definitely is news coming in. And you've got a new moon over there. So there's a new cycle beginning for you there. There's something that is coming in pretty quickly there um, for you. Uh, but there is a beginning, a new fresh start coming in over there. That news is coming in pretty quickly and things are about to change for you. So you are at the crossroads in your life. But once that decision is made, things are going to start moving on pretty quickly. Like I said, you're still dealing with a lot of problems with people, uh, but learn to trust your own instincts and don't uh, just, um, you know, take everybody's word for what they say. Be, uh, uh, you know, take everything with a pinch of salt. Um, so um, trust your own instincts when you're making decisions rather than what anybody else has got to say. 